Hi, I'm Delroy the Spark here again. Um, we haven't been putting up any videos recently. Um, my son's a bit too busy to get to do it, and he's been telling me for ages that he wanted me to do it. Uh, you know, me and I keep saying, look, man, this phone business is not me, man. Technology, I'm not the best with it. Um, I know what I know how to use a computer for my own purposes, but doing stuff on the phone and iPad and all that, it's not me, mate. But he forced me to do it. He kept going on. I thought, ah, let me have a go. So this video, you, video you're going to see now is the first one I've ever done. And I'll warn you from now, camera work isn't that good. So I'd apologise for that. Um, he didn't want it to go out because he thought it wasn't good enough. I showed it to old Marley, the Sparky, my eldest son. And he said, yeah, it's all right, Dad. There's still stuff people can learn from it. Put it out. So it is. And um, yeah, this was a quite a good job, actually. There's lots of stuff that I wanted to show you because when I do these things, it's mainly for youngsters who are trying to get in the trade or in the trade. They could get little tips out of do things. You know, they might come across something and watch a video and say, oh, right, that's how it's done. So that's what it's all about because I've always been, that's one of the best things about being a Sparky, teaching apprentices, you know? And um, so, um, like I said, the filming isn't that good. Hope you can get something out of it. Sorry about it. I'll um, try and do better the next time. Well, that's my aim. I'll have to. I'll be keep doing this. So um, I'll try and do better next time. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, Delroy the Spark again. Um, hope you're all well. All keeping well uh, during this um, COVID pandemic thing. Hope you're all um, uh, getting back to work slowly but surely. Yeah, it's been quite slow, but um, I've done a, f a few little jobs. I'm on my way now to a job in central London uh, to do a test in an office. Not my favourite place to work. Parking, congestion zone, usually a nightmare. But the spot I'm particular, that I'm going to, um, I've been there before. It's not that bad. Should get some parking. Won't be right in front of the job. I remember <laughs> I've done a job in the bank area and... I had to park in a car on the ground park car park near the river and then bring my tools and ladder all the way up to the office in the bank it was ridiculous I said never again and since then I have been asked to go to a job in that area and I said unless you can guarantee us parking outside the job or pretty near the job then can't do it it's just not worth it but anyway that's besides the point uh, I'm gonna go and do this test and I'll um uh, uh film try and film it and uh see you um catch up with you later okay so thanks see you soon bye hi uh, guys i've just arrived and like i predicted nowhere to park just waiting for the client to come down um in the building where in the foyer of the building just like i told you um i've arrived at the place now and that's the building there I'm going to be working in and as you can see there's nowhere to park so there I am I just parked temporary I took my steps my my steps and my tools and my tester left it in the foyer and now I'm gonna to have to go and try and find somewhere to park as you can see guys I'm filming myself it's the first time I've ever done it my son's gonna have a field day um, he says he's too busy. I've got to do the filming. I said, oh man, this ain't my thing, man. But, you know, if, if, <laughs> he bullied me into doing it. <laughs> I don't know if you got, if you guys, any of you guys out there have to um, get your children to help you or ask for their input. They take over. It's like they're your dad. It's like he's my dad telling me, do this, do that. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. But he's a good kid, though. Good geezer. All right, see you later. Hi guys, exactly what I feared. Um, I've parked well away from the job now. Uh, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> and it's only two hours parking allowed here, so I guess I'm going to have to come back and move it. Oh, this is going to be long and it's raining. I'm going to end up getting wet, soaked on the way back. There you are, raining, man. Oh gosh, not what I wanted. Anyway, got to get on with it. Me preparing to go to the job. Got my mask got my hand sanitizer oh well i've got to pick
pair of gloves, my gloves. So, I mean, are you guys doing all that? Are you got all your um, PPP, your um, personal protective stuff? Um, I try my best. Um, I've just been into the office in there and uh, I don't seem like anybody's wearing masks or anything like that. So I'll just go see how it goes. Um, walk into the, to the place now. Um, but it takes me, but it's going to take me about 15 minutes to get there, maybe. And then by the time I take my steps upstairs and um, get myself ready, get all set up, that's probably another 15 minutes. And then I'm going to have to leave at least 15 minutes early to come and move it because I've only got two hours. So this is going to be a long thing, as they say. Um, hopefully it goes well. As it turned out, 15 minutes was a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> I'm in about five minutes. So that's it there. Just going to go inside and see how I can get on. Yeah, I'm just going downstairs in the basement to see the main switch room. See if I can see where, where this um, fuse is. Main fuse for this fuse board. I don't have to pull it or anything, but I just want to see it. Are you looking for the uh, no, fuse no, board? No, no, no. I've, I've seen the fuse. I know where the fuse board is, but no, I don't need to concern myself with this. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is the setup, guy. This is, here's the fuse board and the meter here and the oh. isolation switch. What they've done, I couldn't figure out. I had to take this cover off, this cover off here to figure out what they're doing. I couldn't figure it out. So they've come out of the meter gone into the, gone through this old fuse board I suspect into the top of this switch and then they come out of this switch into the fuse board right I don't know why they didn't just yeah okay yeah so that's it that's all good I'm gonna start checking some stuff and see what's going on that's that office there There's a little office in there. When I spoke to them originally, they said it would be empty. It'd be all empty, but on, as you can see, it's not empty. Because <laughs> they're moving to there as it happens. That's why they want the test done. This is the setup, guys. This is an old fuse board. So, that, oh, look. All the switches are off. So, it's redundant. But what, instead of taking it out, what they've done is they've passed, used that as a box come through and come through the top of it into this switch it's an isolating switch and they've got all of their into their right rigmarole <laughs> uh, but that's the setup uh, they've got some air conditioning and then this um guy here conditioning guys just brought me up to show me right right okay okay so could it I'm not fully um, understanding of this because I, you know what I thought? I thought you just, oh, you got, you, you got to have pipes going to it. The, yeah. These so here. You basically, um, the isolators, they get power from the fuse board. Yeah. And the pipes, that's, that's just gas, gas goes through the yeah. pipes. So what is this unit here? So what is that? Is, this is the condensing unit. So it has a compressor inside of it. All right. So it compresses the gas. It's, it's basically the heart of the system. Oh, okay. So it pumps the gas through the system. Right. We've got through the pipes. Through the pipes, yeah. It's a closed and circuit. The pipes okay. Are on the circuit, so it has, a, it has operating pressures for cooling and for heating. Yeah. So. The pipes are closed circuit, so yeah. you don't want any gas leaking out. All oh, right, and that's what causes the, the yeah, air conditioning gas, yeah. downstairs. That's oh, okay, okay. Because so uh, you know. uh, it's raining and that, I can't mess about with the electrics yeah, yeah, yeah. out here, so I'm just going to test the stuff inside oh, yeah. and make sure that's okay. Yeah. All right, thanks, man. Thanks yeah. for that. Uh, okay, guys, um, what I've done, just done my um, ZD and K at this point here, and I've got 0 0.10 um, ZD and um, 2.87 Ka between phase and earth. Between phase and neutral, it was 0. Point, um, sorry, 2.87 Ka phase and earth, 2.84 phase to neutral. So, uh, look at the, what they've done here. 
obviously must be an armoured that's connected to this box. All right? And what they've done, they've bonded to the underside of the box over to there, 16 mil, and they've done it to this switch as well, over to there. Um, uh, <coughs> I'm assuming that this earth that's connected there, which could have been done, is for this, but like that's not in use. It's for this, but that's not in use. So that's the setup there, guys. Right, guys, um, that's what I've done. I've just um, inspected it, done my loop test. It was 0 0.60, um, and I've pushed the cable up so you can't see the flat, the cores. It's not the best thing, but you know I don't want to cold it as anything like that, as give it a cold or anything. Um, but I will mention it because to me, I will mention the fixings because this is like a, in my opinion, an amateur way to do it. In a commercial building like this, you should do it properly. But um, it's not on safe or anything like that. But just professional wise, I think it could be done better. Don't know what you guys think. I might be over the top. Now, that's definitely a, a code too, because this is on top of the fitting. They've just, there's 240 volts there, right? So, and that's exposed. So it's not, I wouldn't put it as a code one, because it's not, to get a shock off that, you have to come up here and touch that. So it's not like immediate danger, but right? it could lead to danger if someone come up here, try messing about with it. That should really be in a, uh, a junction box. So it's all covered, okay? Uh, <clears throat> also guys, these clips aren't really clipping to anything, it's just plasterboard, so they just fall out. See that? That one just fell out. So, and look, see, this gives me it was danger because he's um, taped it up, but that's not good enough. <laughs> Can't just tape, put tape around it. And also, that one there, falling down from the coming down from the ceiling it's not the best way to fit to do these fittings definitely not the best best way yeah hi guys again i just uh passed the car park there so i went down there to um see if there's any spaces it's chock-a-block no spaces whatsoever it's eight pound an hour uh 15 pounds for two hours and 20 pounds for four hours. Uh, so that's central London for you. I'm uh, just returning to the job after the parking the van for the second time. Took me ages to find the parking space. Uh, but I'm back on it now. See how we get on in this half. Oh, yeah. Just done the test for this uh, little room here. It's got um, a skirting trunk in. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six sockets on it. And um, uh, end to end, it was um, 0.77 phase in neutral. And uh, end to end, the CPC was 1.35. And the, um, as you can see here, cross it out, crossed it over. So your R1, R2 is 0.51. Right. I don't know if you guys have this problem. I've <clears throat> took out those um, cables to do the test on it, it's the ring cables, but trying to get it back in and tight, it just wouldn't tighten it. I had to, every time I put it in, pull the cable to test that it's tight, it wouldn't, wasn't, wouldn't stay tight. So I had to actually take it out, make sure the cables are in and then tighten it like this and then put it back to make sure it's tight. Don't know if you guys have that problem. Yeah, that circuit had actually, actually had nine sockets on it. Uh, the ZS is 0.57. Right, see these connections there? They're not too clever. A lot of the strands are broken. If you look at it close, a lot of the strands are broken. I have to reconnect that before, before I um, test it. Can't just leave it like that. Because um, so, I can see it's going to break. Some of the strands are break and broken. Um, any pressure will just come away. So I'm going to reconnect them and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, right. There's the AC unit. These two are on one circuit. That one's on its own circuit. And I've checked. 
That's the one where I've done the reconnection. That one, the connections are just as bad. And I haven't checked that one, but it's, I assume it's just as bad. And also, at that one and that one, I'm only getting 129 volts to earth. So there's something wrong there. I couldn't get a ZS reading. So further in investigation into that. Right. Hi, guy. Um, I'm in the basement checking for the... the there's the gas, gas meter. Massive gas meter. Big bond on it. So that's done. Um, um, don't know where the water pipe is. I don't know what that pipe is there. Is that the mains one? I don't know what that is. Um, but it's got a big bond on it. Uh, and this is the switch room. You've got your big armoured coming down there. Nicely sweeped into the, the head. What's that? That's so what? 400 amp head, yeah? 400 amp head. 400 amp head. I'm looking to see, well, no, it's not. I was looking for PME, it's not PME. Because, oh, is it? No, that, yeah, it could, yeah. That's, that's connected to this neutral. This is the neutral. Hold up. I think it's the neutral. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Phase one, two, three, that should be the neutral. The earth is connected on that bolt that goes into the neutral bar. See that there, yeah? So that it must be PME. It's usually marked on it, PME. But um, I've checked it out, so I, I'm, I'm sure that's PME system. And look, there's your earth bar. Got all them big earths going along there for the wall. It's interesting. Don't know if you guys have ever um, put up a, a um, mains unit like that and wired it all in. I remember doing it with an apprentice when I was an apprentice with the old Sparky, but I haven't done it myself. Yeah, it's all good. Just in the basement. Now I'm on the third floor. Office I'm, that I'm working is just where that wall, behind that wall. This is the um, three phase. Uh, um, circuit breakers that um, there's I think there's four units up here you've got four armored not three um, four three phase um, breakers and in that big black box above the fuse board in there there's three phases and the office is on the red phase so um, that, so this is what's going to trip if there's a four in there but um, I think further down somewhere there should be another this board where this goes into. But um, no one knows anything here. Which is typical because they, they're not, no, I suppose they're not meant to know. But um, it's, it, it takes a lot of time when people don't know where you have to, when you have to sort everything out yourself, you know, find everything. It takes ages. Anyway, I'm done now. Getting ready to go. Oh, that parking kills you, man. This job could have been done in a couple of hours. <laughs> but this back and forth, forth for the parking, it's a joke. Anyway, uh, see you next time. I, I hope I've done a good job with the videos. Or oh, Martin Scorsese will tell me when he sees it. <laughs>